Welcome to another small tutorial for Brender. I'm going to explain a few things that are not so clear, I think. So first of all, we're going to use the simple project uh, again, and we can see the structure, intro, space, folder, and this one that we are going to use. But first, I want to show when we use a new job, you can see that you have also this, for instance, the slash, and this one is going to show you the files that are the root so it should be these two, another file and file at root but now when we use render config demo for instance we actually only have one file so that's the one that it's going to show here but if we have a different file structure uh, we could add manually the file name so in this case it would be the hidden file and cs2 two. so I would add cs02 slash 02 slash hidden file without dot blend and this will then overwrite this shot so we would basically have in the project simple project scene 0 to 3 render config demo and then this file I'm going to see if it works uh, let's start it automatically and uh, yes, everything is going in place. We can have a look at the file. It's just three cubes, and they should be not finished because it's a slow, very slow machine. But we can see we already have it. Okay, another question that came out of the feedback was what if instead of having the renders in you know the scenes are here but the renders are in these folders and you can see if you have these many levels of folders you can get quite deep in the renders what if now you want to have them for instance just next to the blend file for instance here we have the hidden file blend and we want the renders here we can use the compositing for instance Here we go compositing and we have the normal composite uh, node but we, we can add another one called file output and in this case we want to point it out to where our scenes are, the files and we can even create a folder called uh, like uh, renders here and uh, whatever name, whatever name and link it together put like PNG check that we use nodes and uh, everything is fine so let's save and restart the job so now that we restarted the job we are going to see what happens here you can see he saves actually two files the normal one that goes like the render but also the one that is in our new folder and we should we should see it here coming so you have your blend files and the folders another step that we can do is add multiple paths for instance here we have the I already prepared the paths the red cubes or all the cubes and the blue ones so we just have to take these two extract and let's say we do the red ones so instead of whatever name we say red cubes and here of course the blue cubes blue ones and this one we have to put back to all the cubes we just save and restart and hopefully we should see many files coming here from the renders yes you can see we have the blue ones the red ones and the whatever file with all the three ones okay one last thing that I would like to show you is the render configurations 
uh, whenever you start a new job, you have seen that you have these config files. These are basically just uh, Python files that are executed just before the rendering. So you can do a lot of things with these. I'm going to try to show a few of these. Uh, let's first have a look how they look like. So as I said, just Python files. And you can write really whatever you want. In these samples that we included with the installation, we have set up manually uh, different resolutions. In this case, it's uh, half HD and uh, added the stamp, these kind of things. You can, of course, also add your own uh, scales or resolutions that you would like for each project or each uh, tools that you have. Um, okay, let's just copy one and uh, call it um, demo test. Uh, we can edit it and uh, let's change, for instance, something to what? something strange like 2200 resolution. <coughs> so now, when whenever you it's not going to refresh exactly right now, you first need to reload the page. And if I add a new job, by the way, I'm going to add these uh, trees file which is here since these trees it's just two simple trees we're going to see later we we can change make them high resolution first we're going to always use 10 frames because it's just for a test and now we you can see that we have this demo test file so let's just start this job and in my opinion, it should give something like the trees, but very wide. And let's uh, wait a moment, see if everything's going fine. So yes, you can see the renders are quite long and large, because this is our resolution that we set up. So. What can we do else with these files? We can uh, we can like erase all these things, and I'm going to show you another sample of something we can do. Is in our case here the two trees would be something like I don't know like a very complicated scene with a forest. Uh, on layer five and four, I have the two group objects. Like this one is the tree low and on number 5 I have the tree high this is the high resolution one and let's imagine that I have an entire forest but of course as an animator I don't like to to animate uh, things when when it's full of details and faces and you cannot even move the mouse so in this case we can use the high and low switch case so in the scripting I already made a script it's a very straightforward things. It takes all the objects and uh, check if the duplicate group is a uh, tree low and change by high. So I can, for instance, I can execute it. First, I'm going to save it. I'm saving as simplified trees. So let's execute, and you can see it, it just changed the the trees in high resolution. I'm just reloading the tree so that you can see the, f the saved file is really the low resolution one. But whenever now I'm going to restart the job, it's going to put the high resolution trees. But first of all, I need to change again this script, is the demo test, to, I don't know, something more normal. Or we can, by the way, we can also just delete them. So it's not going to change the resolution, but use the one that we set in this file, which right now is something like half HD. Instead of having nothing to do for this one, we are just going to use this script. So I'm copying and pasting here. So whenever some of the clients need to render this file, it first is going to execute this script, which means changing the trees to high, res high resolution, 
and then render so just going to restart the job using the demo test and hopefully it will render in a normal half HD resolution with the high res trees we can see here it's starting to take a bit more time well before waiting the things we can just go to the renders and see the trees are now in high resolution and changing so that's what I wanted to show it's just something a simple example in this case but I'm quite sure it can help in a lot of cases.